In this tutorial, I'm going to go over everything you need to know to get started in Photoshop as a complete beginner. Let's start by creating a new file. Here you can set the width and height of your file. I'm going to choose 1080 by 1350 pixels. Here you set the resolution. Let's start by dragging an image to Photoshop. You can scale it like this while holding the shift button. When you finish press enter. Here you can find the layers panel. This is the move tool, which is something you can use to move things around. The next one is the selection tool. It's something that you can use to select part of your image and copy and paste it in a different layer. You can also use it to select a subject and delete its background. It's now in a different layer. You can use the move tool to move it around. You can hide or unhide layers. You can also press Ctrl T to scale it if you want. To delete a layer, press this trash icon. The next tool is the lasso tool. It's something that you can also use to create selections. Choose the move tool to move that part that we have selected. We can't move it cause we have to rasterize the layer first. Right click and choose rasterize layer. Now we can move the part that we have selected. If you want to add to that selection, we just hold the shift button and add a selection. If you want to delete part of that selection, you just hold the ALT button and delete part of that selection. To deselect, just click anywhere outside that selection. The next tool is the Quick Selection tool, which is good to mask out people, objects or anything. You can reduce the brush size from here. Or just use the brackets in your keyboard. You can select the t-shirt like this, you can see how smart Photoshop is at detecting what I want to select. If I want to deselect the extra part, just hold ALT and click on that part to deselect. You can copy and paste the t-shirt in a different layer like this. You can use the move tool to move it around. To delete a layer, press this trash icon. The next tool is the crop tool. You can use this tool to crop your image to whatever size you want to. When you finish press enter, or just click on this icon. Our next tool is the eyedropper tool. You can select any color and use it. It's right here. The next tool is the spot healing brush tool. You can use it if you want to cover up any imperfections. You can change the brush size from here. Something like this. The next tool is the brush tool. You can brush over things with it. Here you can change the opacity and the flow of the brush. And from here you can change the color of the brush. Let's change the opacity and see what happens. You can always press Ctrl Z to undo the steps. The next tool is the clone tool. With this tool you can cover up things or clone anything you want. Change the brush size from here. Hold ALT to choose from where you want to clone, and then start cloning. Our next tool is the eraser tool, this is obvious what it does. You can also experiment with the opacity if you want. And you can change the hardness of the brush.
The next tool is the gradient tool. You can change the gradient colors from here. Create new layer. Just click and drag in any direction you want. To delete a layer, press this trash icon. Create new layer. Let's try a different gradient color. The first one here is always these two colors that you have chosen. Click here to change this color. From here you change the opacity of the color. Just click and drag in any direction you want. Our next tool is the pen tool. With the pen tool, you can use it to create a selection, and for example, delete the background from an image. You can be so precise if you use this tool. Just click and drag. To make a selection, right click and choose make selection. You can use the Move tool to move that selected part if you want. To deselect, choose the Selection tool. Click anywhere to deselect. Our next tool is the Type tool. You can type anything you want using this tool. This is a small font, you can choose Move tool then press Ctrl T and scale it. You can also go to Window, and choose Character. From here you can change the color, the font, the size of the text, and much more. From here you can change the space between each letter. From here you can turn on or off all caps. Let's delete this text. Our next tool is these different shape tools. Let's draw a rectangle. From here you can edit the properties of the shapes, like changing the fill color, the stroke size and color, and much more. You can also make the rectangle curved. You can experiment with these properties as you like. You can also reduce the opacity of the shape layer. You can also press Ctrl T and rotate it or scale it. You have multiple shapes here to use. Our next tool is the hand tool. Let's zoom in by holding the control and the space bar. With the hand tool you can move your canvas as you like. You can also zoom in or out by pressing Ctrl minus or Ctrl plus. Or just use the zoom tool. Hold Alt to zoom out. From here you can change the colors that you like to use. You can also switch between these colors like this. From here you can check the history of what you did, you can get back to whatever move that you did or delete any move that you have done. You can get this panel from Window, History. Now we will go over the Adjustment layer. This is the Hue Adjustment layer. Here it is in the Layers panel. You can use it to color parts of an image if you want. Let me show you how. First let's delete this adjustment layer. Choose the quick selection tool. Let's select the t-shirt. Go to adjustment layer and choose hue saturation. Click on colorize. Adjust the saturation. Change the hue color to what you like. This is one of the ways that you can use hue saturation. You can also reduce its opacity if you want. Let's delete this layer. 
Now let's see the black and white adjustment layer. Now your image is in black and white. Let's add some contrast. Go to adjustment layer and choose brightness contrast. From here you adjust the brightness and contrast of your image. Now let's delete those layers and check something else. Go to adjustment layers and choose levels. You can experiment with these properties as you like. Let's delete this layer. Now let's check the curves adjustment layer. You can add points to the curves to adjust your image. You can also find the adjustment layer here in the layer panel. You can also remove the panels like this if you want. Now let's add gradient map adjustment layer. You can also use this to make a black and white effect. Let's delete this layer. From the adjustment layer, you can also add a solid color like this. Now let's check the blending modes. You can experiment with these to see what each one does. Now let's check how we can delete the background easily in the newest Photoshop. Go to select and choose subject. Now just add a layer mask. That's it, the background from the image is gone. Now let me show you how to save the file and export it as JPEG. Go to export, save for web. From here you save it as JPEG, or as PNG which mainly we use for transparent backgrounds. That's it, hope you liked it. Hit the like button to support my channel, and check other tutorials in my YouTube channel.